Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can perform mathematical operations within our studio. So you can consider this prompt as a, a calculator where you are entering numbers and mathematical function to perform some kind of mathematical operations like addition, multiplication, divisions, stuff like that. So if I have to just start with a very simple thing which is 1 plus 1, it gives you a result of 2. So similarly, if I have any big number, which is like 15167 plus 14423 for some reasons, then it gives me the addition of it. So if you want to have a quick mathematical operations, you can start typing directly with this mathematical operation. Similarly, if you want to subtract anything, which is a big number, and then another number, then it start, gives you the result accordingly. So we have tried addition, subtraction. Let's try multiplication by multiplying 123 by 12 and it gives you the result out. So these are a couple of basic mathematical operations that you can perform. Apart from that, if you want to do some kind of a square or something, then uh, you can actually start do something like uh, this where I'm doing a square of 12, 12 cap 2, 144. Or if you want to, uh, from square, uh, you want to move ahead and do it three times, then 1728. Accordingly, the number increasing, you know, the, the more accordingly you will start getting the results. So if you want, uh, again, uh, to take a square root in this case, or want to take a root by three, then you can do something like this, 1728, again cap but then this time 1 by 3 and it will give you 12 because you are taking a root of 3, square root of 3. So in this case, uh, this is how you can perform some mathematical operations in this case and uh, after this I will quickly show you how you can uh, store these mathematical numbers into some kind of an object. Things like uh, let's say A and you want to store 12 then this is how you can store it and once you have done that the object will uh, going to display over here so here I already have a couple of uh, objects so this is something kind of missing so but if I have to show you at command prompt again if I just write a it will going to print 12 which we have seen just alternatively you can use a command like print and then pass on the object the best part is that now 12 has some identity which is uh, kind of meaningful to you because you have stored it in some kind of an object or a variable and now you can perform again mathematical operations let's say you want to divide a by 4 and it will start giving you the result. So you can assign the values like this by using the equal to sign or you can use another sign which is let's say a and smaller small sign or lesser sign than dash shine and then we are storing let's say a value 20 so this time again uh, next value is stored into a and previous value is overwritten so this is a word of caution that if you are again assigning a value to a same variable then previously value previously stored value will be overwritten so now if I enter say a it will show me 20 but not 12 so these are the two different ways equal to sign or this sign which has less than and dash sign which you can utilize to assign a values and again which one to use or is there any preference it completely then i would say a personal choice which one to use equal to sign we have been using historically in almost every other program or uh, or software that you have used and this is something how very much specific I think to R where you can use alternatively this sign to store a value looks a bit scientific so sometimes uh, I just use this uh, but there is no harm if you are using equal to sign either after this let's uh, create another value or another object B and let's store a value of uh, let's say 50 and what I'm going to show you is uh, manipulating objects. So let's say A plus B, so 70, which is 
A has 20 value, B has stored uh, 50. So the cumulative will be 70. We can multiply A star B and will give the result accordingly. Uh, we can divide A divide B and the result will be appear to us. After this, if uh, we have a requirement where we want to store these results for further manipulation, then we can create a next object called C and to store the value, we will use again the assignment operator, either this sign or equal to sign and we will say A divided by B, the mathematical operation we want to perform on these two objects. So as I enter, it will not show me the result, but as soon as I will print or enter C from my keyboard, which will tell our studio to print the results. So now 0.4 because division was storing 0.4 as a value as we saw earlier also. So now I have three uh, objects over here, A, B and C, and uh, which I can use uh, in my further operations if I have and uh, continue with my business data analysis. The next thing I want to show you is uh, how you can enter the previously entered command very easily. So you, if there is any big command where a lot of uh, variables you have entered, uh, which we will be seeing in upcoming videos about when the command is, has become increasingly large, then it doesn't make sense that you are entering the entire stuff again. So for that, you can hit the up arrow from your keyboard to access the previously entered command. So I'm hitting the up arrow there and you can see I am seeing uh, the previously entered command on this command prompt, right? So this is how I can enter and uh, see what I have entered previously. And the next thing I want to show you is about the case sensitiveness of R. So we have entered values in objects called A, B and C. But if I'm entering capital A, then it will not going to take or consider is like the one which was earlier a small A because it is case sensitive. So small A is different than capital A. It is uh, different in some other programming language which are not case sensitive where small a is equals to capital A. But in this case of R, we need to be careful that it is case sensitive and small letters is not equals to capital letters. So one quick last thing, thing before wrapping up this video uh, is about a uh, little bit about how to uh, declare or how to uh, ass create these objects called A, B and C. You can have something like A1 or A2 or A3 and store the values, let's say 15. It's perfectly fine if I print it, perfectly fine. But if I'm doing an opposite of it, 3A and then storing the value, then it will say unexpected symbol. So it should, it is giving us an indication that our variable should start with character. And there are a couple of other restrictions which I would encourage you to look at the R manual. Go to that website which I have showed in my introduction to R video. And on the website rproject.org, uh, it has a manual which, which clearly tells how you can uh, or what are the restrictions that you have for declaring an object. So that's a quick uh, overview I wanted to give you about basic mathematical operations to perform in R, uh, creating objects, assigning values and some of the things related to how to declare objects uh, properly into the R. So I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic. Bye-bye.